Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. Cody Bennett has a personal interest in accessibility. Growing up, uh, my dad uh, used a wheelchair. Then my cousin recently uh, became blind from her diabetes going awry. So it's always been around and it wasn't something that I fully thought of in terms of what I do until I got here at Humber. It is the reason the film and television production student at Humber College chose to incorporate accessibility features into his video documentary, Love Beyond Accessibility, a story about the marriage of his cousin. Today you're starting to have an anxiety attack. It was just get her down the aisle, get her down the aisle, get her down the aisle. We wanted to make sure that people felt they were included. Cody was able to learn more about integrating accessibility features into all types of media by a new online course offered by Humber College's Media Foundation program. The main resource for myself was the Making Accessible Media course. The elective course was the vision of Media Foundation professor Anne Zabitnu, who struggled to find timely captioning for a deaf student. That's what got me thinking, that if we can teach our students how to caption and how to make their own media accessible, that way when they are making all their projects, they will be generated accessible. When they graduate, they'll have all these skills in their pocket that they will be able to take into the workforce and they'll be training people that hire them on how to make their media accessible. Focusing on representation of disability in media is important as perceptions about accessibility change for the better. My encouragement to people is to include people as being people and that's what we want. And we also don't want to represent disabled people as superheroes and we don't want to feel sorry for them. They're people. So representation is really important because we're all in this together. Building accessibility features into the project at the beginning, rather than as an afterthought, is a key aspect of making media accessibility successful. It gives you the space to design something beautiful and to make it fully accessible, and it becomes part of the project. The course, however, may never have come to life if Anne hadn't attended a panel discussion hosted by the Broadcasting Accessibility Fund in 2015. They had just given out the first Broadcasting Accessibility Fund grants to a number of different organizations. And I remember listening to this and, and just thinking, we gotta get that. That's, we have to get that. Broadcasting Accessibility Fund, Richard speaking. Richard Cavanaugh, Broadcasting Accessibility Fund CEO and Fund Officer, explains what the fund is. It's basically a granting agency that provides money for projects that advance accessibility to broadcasting content for people with disabilities. The fund was the result of the purchase of CTV by Bell Media. The CRTC actually has a policy that requires uh, tangible benefits to flow out of a transaction in the broadcasting industry. And so in 2012, when Bell bought CTV, it actually triggered a decision-making process on the part of the CRTC to set up what became the Broadcasting Accessibility Fund. To date, the fund has distributed more than 2.5 million of the initial six plus million dollar investment, including $130,000 to Humber College for their course. Humber is a great example though because it shows first of all uh, what can be accomplished with a relatively small grant. At the same time, the Humber College program became self-sustaining, which is really important because we're not just looking for a one-off project that has a beginning, a middle and an end, but we're looking to have some life injected into these things. The BAF is an independent and impartial funding body, always on the lookout for great projects that advance their mandate. How are you going to move the ball down the field as far as taking a specific barrier away? That could be um, software development, which we funded. We funded a number of, of different types of applications as well. We have researchers looking at uh, set-top box development to make them more accessible as far as uh, television content is concerned. The BAF grant made the Humber course a reality. The real winners, though, are people like Cody. I think if that wasn't there, if that wasn't created, it would have taken me a lot more time, 
um, and a lot more dedication to put in uh, the work that I did and find out what I needed to know, especially because I would have had to go everywhere else and like hit a bunch of stops. And that might have even deterred me and deterred others uh, from learning more about accessibility. Humber's Making Accessible Media course can be found at humber.ca Making Accessible Media. For more information about the Broadcasting Accessibility Fund, go to baf-far.ca.